What's up guys? My name's Josh and this is HVAC Tech Tips. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the CAD 85 Combustion Analyzer from Fieldpiece. All right, so let's jump right into this. So we're gonna get all this out of the bag. We'll take a look at everything it comes with. So this is our combustion probe, and it also has the hydro cycle, um, which is only only with the CAD 85 uh, combustion analyzer. Having the hydro cycle eliminates the need of a trap that you have to have for the condensation from um, inside the stack. So what the hydro cycle does is it circulates that uh, condensation and then it pushes it back out and back into your um, to your flute. Uh, so we'll get that out of the way. I'll unplug this. We'll get the actual uh, Cat 85 out. Take a look at that. This thing is really sharp. We'll go over the features in just a minute. I'm just sort of taking everything out of the bag. And this is your metal sheath that um, that you you can keep in your bag right here, and it's what protects your probe. And with the CAT85 K2 kit, this uh, also comes with the uh, wireless printer. So we'll go over that in a minute as well. So the charger it comes with is a Type C charger uh, that will that will charge your printer and your CAT85. So the rest that you would you would get in here would be it has a, a, a little baggie that has your charger in it, your uh, your paperwork, your manual, and it also comes with. Uh, replacement filters for your combustion probe or for the hydrocycle. So it comes with several filters for you. So that's that's really good as well. Also in that in the bag uh, inside your kit will also have your your shoulder strap. And last but certainly not least is the actual bag itself that comes with it. Everything is is super uh, stiff, especially the top right here. So it keeps everything nice and safe and uh, not alone. This thing is just a good looking case. All right, so let's get this out of the way. And let's go over the CAD 85. So let's get started with the actual functionality of the combustion analyzer. So first thing we're gonna do, we're just go ahead and get it plugged back in. And while we're at the bottom of it, we'll uh, we'll go over this. So this is your plug for your, um, your combustion probe. This is your charging port right here. And you also get a dual manometer that is built in with this thing. So this eliminates another tool that you would need and adds it into one piece. It also will eliminate the need for a, a CO tester because this also does uh, CO air free. So you don't have to, uh, to have one of those tools you're carrying around either during the winter months. So uh, three tools in one on this one. So let's get this thing plugged in and we'll go over the different features. So plug it in is extremely simple. You have a white line down there, your two arrows on the top of this, and it just snaps right into place. The display is a 5.5 inch touchscreen display. It's without a doubt the nicest combustion analyzer I've ever used. So um, I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it looks with the functionality of the touchscreen is, is really good. So the first thing we'll go over is the sensor vault technology. So you, you have your two sensors behind this, this front plate. You have your, uh, your O2 sensor and your CO sensor. And it's, you know, it's really typical for your sensors to, to wear out, to go bad, um, usually within a year or so, but with the sensor vault, it locks in your sensors and seals them off whenever you're not using them. So it completely eliminates uh, extra wear on your sensors. So let's get this thing kicked on. It's not gonna be just like a typical button. You're gonna hear the snap when you push it in and that is it actually unsealing the, uh, the sensors. So you heard that, it unseals the sensors and then we get a countdown, 45 seconds. And that's just getting everything up and running. As you can see, full color display on here. And whenever you're going through this startup cycle, you wanna make sure you're in ambient air, you're not in the house um, where you're about to test your, your flu vent or your CO. You wanna make sure you're outside. So this thing is just reading outside ambient air. 
and there we go so you can hear this so that's your pump going and this is what our display is going to look like and also with uh, the cat 85 it does have four very large magnets on the back and they are they are very strong and i am a sucker for magnets with any type of tool this thing it, it really stays stuck so it, it's extremely nice to have stick it on your furnace door after you've started it up see if i can keep this from having such a glare all right so you have your your first right here is your stack temp and then we're going to have your o2 reading the uh, o2 percentage in your stack and then the last two is your really important ones as well it's the co ppm parts per million and then this is the co parts per million air free and you can see on this side over here it gives you a range of where it, it normally would want to be so that's i really think that's extremely helpful too if you don't have the uh the stats just dialed into your brain that what they should be uh, what I usually do is have to pull up um, a chart that I keep in my phone to where I can pull up the chart and compare all of my readings to what they should typically be running for that styled furnace. With this, you don't have to deal with all that. It gives you your range of where typically you would want to be. Uh, I think that's really cool. Before you would get started on the job, you would want to select what gas you're going to be using for the job that day with the furnace. So right here, it shows natural gas, and this is all of your different fuel types that you can use, natural gas, propane, you have your different oils, uh, coal, biofuel. Then you have three area, three customized uh, tabs where you can fill in any other type of fuel type that you're using. Let's go out of fuel type. Also, this touchscreen is very responsive. It doesn't, you know, a lot of, a lot of newer tools have that laggy touch. Uh, this one so far has been fantastic. It is, um, it is very responsive when you touch it, which is definitely a plus. So down here, you also can go to your trending, which is extremely helpful when you're checking how the furnace is trending as it is running. This would be where you could really watch like spikes in your O2 level. When the blower comes on, that would indicate a issue with your heat exchanger, maybe a split seam or a crack. Um, and it also will show where where your temperatures like for your stack gets to and when it levels out so it can really give you extra information on what's going on and it tells you what each what each colored line is going to represent so the yellow is going to be your stack temperature blue is your parts per million co and uh the white is your o2 percentage and then purple is parts per million air free so we'll go out right here and this is going to show our different options we can do whenever we are using our cat 85 so the top one is what we was just using, the combustion. So you also have your ambient CO. Ambient CO is where you could walk in the house and you could check your CO levels anywhere in the house. You could check it. You can actually put your, your probe down into one of the supply vents and just, just to do a quick check and make sure you're not having uh, any higher high amounts of CO coming out of the vents, which would indicate a very big problem with a heat exchanger. Um, and you also have an alarm level that is, you can customize to what, when you want the alarm to go off if you are checking it. So we, then next we have your drafts. You can check your draft pressure in your stack and you don't have to switch probes for this. You use your combustion probe. So you could, you could check how the furnace is venting, how, if there was possibly say a bird's nest up in the top, you would be able, it would indicate that there is some type of uh, restriction in that flue by your um your draft pressures so then you have your primary air so your primary air is going to test the ambient air where your furnace is located so another really good tool to be able to use uh, then we have your fuel pressures and this is where we would use our dual manometer in the bottom hook up our um our tubing to our manometer and get our inlet and outlet pressures on our gas valve um, then you got your manometer. So on the manometer side, you'll be able to test your static pressure. Uh, you can hook up your, your other lines with, um, with your probes to go into the supply and return, be able to check your static pressure of the system. And you can see all of this in one tool is one of the best parts about it. You're eliminating two other tools and having it all in one. Down here, you have customer. 
So we'll go to the customer. You can type in the customer name. Type in the customer name and hit save. So after we uh, save our customer name, we'll go back and then you have your job archive. So this is, this is one of the ones that I did uh, previously when I was just trying it out. All of, your, all of your jobs will be listed right here that you have saved. So if we go back to our combustion, as we're uh, doing our test, you can go to save all up here. And it's going to save all of this information to be able to use it in a report after you're finished. So, I've also I forgot to mention, for the selection with your gas fuels, let's just say we're going to go with propane, and then it gives you the option to go atmospheric, power burner, high efficiency, oil burner, or other type. And that changes your, your readings of where your normal range should be. Everything will change uh, deter, you know, depending on what type of fuel you're using. So then when you're done, you'd hit report. And there it is. Everything that you have found is going to all be saved and you have it under your job name. All right, so we are finished now. We're gonna turn on our printer. And then automatically, right there is print. <clears throat> we have all of our information. We'll hit print and it prints it right out. All of your information right there. Pretty sweet. Now let's go hook up to an actual furnace and see how this baby does. So we're gonna we're gonna use our spot right here to uh, where we're gonna put our probe in. So let's go ahead and make us a hole. That should be it. So we're gonna go uh, get our probe zeroed out outside, and then we'll uh, we'll come back in and get it set up. All right, <clears throat> so let's get this thing put in here. Probe set up. So we're gonna set this to the side right this minute. We're gonna go from R to W. Get our doors back on it. I don't want it to come on just yet. So I'm gonna turn the power off to it. We still have to set our probe up for propane because all this is LP. We're also gonna hook up our uh, outlet pressure uh, to make sure that we're within, within range of the uh, desired water column. All right, so now we're gonna hook up our line to the manometer. And now let's get this sucker fired up. So we'll just pay attention to the O2, make sure there's not a dramatic jump. Now, right when this thing fires up, it's going to, uh, the, the CO and everything's gonna be all over the place. So you have to give it a little bit to, to level out and uh, then you can really start taking a reading after it's ran for maybe 10 minutes or so. But it's important to watch your O2 jump whenever the blower comes on. So these stack temps do not get very hot compared to uh, your 80%. So you see there's a big jump in the CO. Let's go to the trending and we can watch this in real time to see what our, you can, you'll be able to notice the jump. If there's a big jump in O2 when the blower comes on, you'll be able to notice it by the, the line will take a big uh, 
dive upwards. All right, blower's coming on now. So as you can see, it's just a steady increase. So that's not anything to be concerned about uh, regarding the, um, the O2 once the blower comes on. So what you're really looking for there, if you have any type of split in the seams of the heat exchanger or any type of uh, leakage in that heat exchanger, when that blower comes on, it is gonna blow air into that seam and you would be able to see a big jump in your O2. So uh, that all that's really doing is saying there's not a significant crack or hole in the heat exchanger so as you can see what i was talking about it is awesome how this uh the trending screen really gives you a good idea you can see how our stack temp has completely leveled out it's uh it's not really getting any hotter it will gradually get get uh, a little warmer but so let's go back to our regular screen and we can get a good idea on everything So before we finish with the analysis, I was just going to show you uh, how the JobLink app looks uh, when connected to the combustion analyzer. You see how simple everything is. Everything looks uh, really nice, really organized. So this is uh, just another, another great tool to use when you're using your combustion analyzer. All right, so now we just kicked into our high stage, which is going to increase the numbers uh, a little bit. So we'll go back to our trending and take a look. You see our stack temp getting uh, starting to get warmer now. And as you've seen, when the when the furnace goes into its high stage. It'll be using more O2 to burn. The higher the gas pressure, the, the more O2 it is going to use. We pretty much evened out on everything. And you can see our, our O2 is still a little high. Um, so let's look at our, our gas pressure and see what it looks like. 9.23. So we should be somewhere around 10 or 11 so that shows that it is a little bit low. We'll increase the gas pressure some, and you should be able to see a drop in that O2 to get it uh, within range. All right, so we got the gas uh, pressure adjusted to around uh, 10 on the water column, and you can see that the O2 is now uh, becoming right in range where it should. All right, guys. So my overall um, review on this tool, it is uh, it is fantastic. Fieldpiece has knocked this one out of the park, in my opinion. It is uh, everything you could ever want with a combustion analyzer. Um, so the the one thing that I could probably live without, and you guys probably could too, is the printer. With the technology we have these days, uh, it's really not the most necessary thing to have to print off a receipt for your customer, but there is certain, certain professions that, um, that requires you to be able to, to give your customer certain receipts. Uh, it, is, it is necessary for certain people, but for me, maybe not the most necessary thing when I can save everything um, onto my CAD 85 and also re record it into any type of software that we may be using at our company. Everything is fantastic. I absolutely love not, not having to have a trap and worry about the water getting to your sensors. Uh, that part is, is really great. I think that's a great invention, being able to have the, the hydro cycle pushing everything back out. Your sensor vault is, is really cool as well, being able to seal off those sensors. I really dig that. And anytime you can get longer life out of your sensors, that's always a huge plus. 
um, the times I have used it. I've used it about three times on three separate furnaces. Uh, everything is, it works perfectly. It, it, it reads just like it should. It gives you all the information. The, the numbers aren't constantly shooting all over the place, so you're really confused. Everything's really stable with it. Um, and being able to compare going back and forth from your your live readings then to the live trending screen all of that is all of that is just great um, so overall I think this uh, the cat 85 k2 kit is fantastic the cat 85 in general is um, is is really really awesome uh, that there is there is the other model it's the cat 45 and it doesn't come with the hydro cycle so you still would have to use a trap with it it is um, a little bit cheaper but if you're going to be spending the money on a combustion analyzer, it, the best thing you could ever do is just to go with the CAD 85. It is well worth the money. And speaking of the money, it is it is a fairly expensive tool. It really is. But when it comes to quality, it's really hard to beat Field Piece. They are they are really at the top of their game when it comes to uh, inventing new tools or reinventing uh, certain tools, making them better. Um, so it's to me a combustion analyzer is invaluable during the winter when you're checking these uh, furnaces they are extremely important to have 90 percent of technicians probably don't even have them from what i've ran across um, but it makes you much much better well i hope y'all enjoyed this video and go check out the cat 85 from field piece you can get it at true tech or any of the other major websites that sells field piece products